We had this Ikea shelf that we had sitting in our living room that was kind of in the way and kind of bulky. So I decided that I would cut it down and put, move it to a different area. So we used this area in the kitchen underneath the counter and that seemed to work pretty well. So it looks like the area we're working with here is about 12 inches by about 56 and a half. Okay, so with any luck, Hopefully we'll be able to line this up with one of these boards. Looks like that'll work pretty nice. So we'll cut off these two boards. That'll give us the right width. A little bit over, but not serious. And that's 61. We'll cut a little bit of length off one of these. To make these the right length here, I'm gonna have to cut these these down lengthwise. The other ones are a little easier because all I have to do is cut them widthwise. These need to cut lengthwise a little bit. There's only like three inches that I need to cut off, or six or something like that. So I'll look back and find out what it was. But I'll take off these boards, off of these on both ends, so that I don't have to like try to work something and cut all these with the miter saw. After I got to looking at these boards, there's an awful lot of little staples and crap like that in it. And it's just, it's really easy to take those out with a pair of side dikes. Just get underneath there and you don't even have to pry against the wood very hard. Pretty, pretty easy thing to do. 
was annoying that there was staples all the way through the boards for some reason. So since we had this four inches about that we need to cut off here, I was thinking I'll cut two inches off each end and that allowed me to set up a stop block on the miter saw to be able to cut these off and make these the appropriate length. That way we have fresh wood to nail through. I don't know if you can see this on the video, but the, uh, the nail holes here are pretty significant with those larger nails and with the little brad nails I'll be using with my nail gun. It won't be, you know, that's not a good situation to have. I'm hoping that this two inch mark on the fence here is actually accurate and it actually looks like it might be. So I'll just set my stop block at that because we're kind of looking at an approximation number here. It's not like I really need this to be that exact. It just makes this a little quicker so I don't have to march, mark each of the boards. That's all. Set that at two inches and clamp this down to the fence here. I'll just slide those boards in there and cut them right off. Let me go ahead and get that started. Definitely want to use some hearing protection, huh? Kind of noisy. What the heck? Well, would you look at this? Guess I'll have to pull out the board stretcher. So I double cut that. I ran through there twice. <laughs> well, luckily over here in my wood rack, I think I have another board. This same type of shelf. Because I chopped apart one of these before, and I think this will work. I'll just cut this and replace that with a board that I just cut too short. And that's why you got to pay attention to what you're doing. All right, since I wanted this all to be the same width, I don't really feel like measuring. I'm just going to mark it with the other boards that I already cut. And that'll give me a, a reference line to cut these ends. So next step here is to find us a drill bit that will work for this. And I think this one will work. And you can kind of see the threads past that. Maybe a smaller. One more smaller. That was a little bit more friction fit there. I think this will work. Just take our calipers here. Shoot from the middle of that hole. Depth number. Oh, right there. Set that. 